Hello and welcome. Today in this video I'll show you how to create your own fast thumb drive. Let's go. Usually we use a simple USB thumb drive to transfer data between our devices. Unfortunately most of them are very slow and you can't get even more than 50 megabits per second of transfer speed. And even if you decide to buy a more expensive thumb drive, which is promise that you will have a huge amount of speed, you may get less speed than expected. It happens due to overheating problems. Usually a thumb drive has a small case, which of course cannot effectively cool the surface. Luckily there are USB to NVMe adapters, which can give you a huge amount of transfer speed and cooling performance. Because their cases are radiators, and here is one of them. That's how it looks. I will use one of my test NVMe SSDs called Peakvision E3000. That's how it looks. This little thing will allow you to reach a huge amount of speed. How it works? It's simple. Inside we have one of my NVMe adapters and you can connect it to your PC via USB port or via USB Type-C port. The assembly is simple. All you need is to install your NVMe disk and put it in the adapter. There are many USB to NVMe adapters. You can check them on Amazon. All links will be in the description. It's very cheap. By the way, today NVMe disks are cheap too. So you don't need to spend a lot of money. Now let's try to connect it and test the speed. As you can see, we have a lot of ports. The first one is USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. The maximum speed is 5 gigabits per second. The second port is USB 3.2 Gen 2. The maximum speed is 10 gigabits per second. And the third is USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C port. The maximum speed is 20 gigabits per second. This is one of the fastest ports on our motherboard. Unfortunately, we don't need it because our NVMe adapter has only 10 gigabits per second of the speed. You can buy an adapter faster than this. It's up to you. Anyway, using this adapter, we can reach 10 gigabits per second of the speed. It's very fast too. So I will plug it using 10 gigabits port. Now let's test the speed. And as you can see, the speed is one gigabyte per second, not gigabit. One gigabyte per second is eight gigabit per second. It's very fast. Now let's try to copy, for example, a three gigabyte file. And we have only 250 megabytes per second. Why it's so slow? And the reason is our NVMe SSD is only 30% empty. You see, the less free space you have, the less speed you will get. So let's format our NVMe drive. It's normal, that's how NVMe drive works. So let's try again with empty space. And now we have 700 megabits per second, which is uh, really nice. Anyway, even 250 megabits per second, it's a very high speed, which not every USB stick can reach. Next, let's check the temperature. As you can see under load, we have only 40 degrees, which is uh, working temperature of our NVMe SSD. So you don't need to worry about overheating. But what if you want to get not only 20 gigabits of speed, but more, 40 gigabits for example, then you will need Thunderbolt to NVMe adapter, which can reach the speed. And of course your device must have this port. Mac for example have it. You can use these cases Thunderbolt to NVMe adapter. The package has arrived. Let's unpack it. That's how it looks. We have a single Thunderbolt cable. And also we have two thermal pads for our NVMe SSD. And we have a manual. It supports most common M2 NVMe SSDs. The max speed is 40 gigabits. It's compatible with Thunderbolt 3, 4 and USB standards. So you can use it even on your Windows PC. It supports up to 8 terabytes M2 NVMe SSD. My Windows PC doesn't have Thunderbolt port. So I can get only one gigabyte per second. Let's test the speed using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. As you can see, we have only one gigabit per second. How to install an SSD? It's very simple. All you need is to open the cover, then attach SSD mount and place it right here. Also, it has built-in fan, so your SSD temperatures will never reach critical levels. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. There is another cool feature with USB to NVMe adapter. You can use Ventoy, which is very convenient to install Windows images from it. The installation speed is insane, and you can even install Windows XP from it. Leave in the comment section what thumb drive do you use, and what its max transfer speed. If this video helps, press the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you later, bye.